It's almost the end of the Raptor Age. In the past, this formidable fighter jet was unbeatable and the best in the world. The Quiet X-59, on the other hand, is stronger and more dangerous. NASA is working on a supersonic silent aircraft that will allow people to move faster than sound with less noise. This is exciting news for aviation fans all over the world. Can the X-59 really live up to the Raptor's reputation? What about this new plane makes it stronger than the F-22 Raptor from the fifth generation? Join us as we look at the X-59, an airplane that is meant to replace the Raptor and its cutting edge technology and skills. Skunk Works is making the Lockheed Martin X-59 Quest, which stands for Quiet Supersonic Technology. It is an experimental supersonic plane for NASA's project to lower sound booms. While problems with the loud noise that accompanies hypersonic aircraft made when they broke the sound barrier have been recorded with very fast aircraft and caused the production of these aircraft to stop, the X-59 has demonstrated that there are few limits to how far technology can progress. Lockheed Martin was hired in February 2016 to design an airplane with the goal of having it ready to fly by 2020. This is when the X-59 project started. From February to April 2017, they were going to try a small model of the plane in a wind tunnel. In April of that year, they planned to finish the first design review. NASA asked for bids in August 2017, and only Lockheed Martin sent in a response. Three other companies were also interested. NASA then awarded Lockheed Martin a $27.5 million contract to develop, build, and deliver the low boom X plane by the end of 2021. The US Air Force told NASA in 2018 that they named the test the X-59 Quest Saint. NASA Langley tested a small model in a wind tunnel for three weeks in October. The tests look at how it behaved at different speeds and angles. To build on what they knew from previous tests and computer models, they used lasers to test things like stability, control, and airflow. It's 99.7 feet long, the low boom X plane. It has 29.5 foot wings and can take off with 32,000 pounds of weight. With a General Electric F414 engine, it can go as fast as Mach 1.5 and stay at a steady speed of Mach 1.42 at 55,000 feet. Inside, the ejection seat and the cover are from a Northrop 38. The landing gear is from an F-16, and the engine has an afterburner. Makes force of 22,000 pounds. With its long, thin shape and special canards, the plane reduces the sonic boom, which lowers noise from the ground to about 75 decibels, which is about the same volume as closing a car door. The engine entrance is on top of the plane, which makes it even quieter than the much noisier Concorde. Due to the plane's long, pointed nose, airflow problems still exist, and there's no forward view from the cockpit. That's why the X-59 has a high-tech vision system. A 4K camera with a wide field of view and an improved flight vision system will replace the forward sight. Collins Aerospace is providing the electronics, which include an innovative system to see the boom and infrared sensors for landing. NASA did a test to see how the shockwaves made sound after making sure it was safe to fly at the Armstrong Flight Research Center. They also want to fly over the U.S. towns to see how people feel about how safe and quiet the X-59 is. This data could help the government decide if it's safe for supersonic planes to fly over land. NASA planned to test for two weeks, starting November 5, 2018, to get feedback. Every day, they would make up to eight loud noises in different places. Which 20 noise generating devices and 400 people would you monitor? The people who live there would get $25 a week to help. They also want to fly over towns and cities to see how people react to the noise. At a meeting in 2027, this would be used to make a new rule about sonic booms. We could make a decision regarding supersonic flight over land in 2028. NASA recently announced the installation of the General Electric F414GE 100 engine. 
I am currently at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works in Palmdale, California on the X-59. The length of this engine is 13 feet, and it can push 22,000 pounds. Lockheed Martin sent out a video of the X-59 leaving a hangar on August 4, 2023. Then, on January 5, 2024, Lockheed Martin said they would show off the X-59 within a week. On January 12, 2024, they did, even though the supersonic plane had been a success. One question stays. Does this plane really solve the main problem with flying faster than sound? While flying less quickly than sound, an airplane sends out sound waves that go everywhere. The plane leaves its own sound behind when it goes faster than sound. The sound waves swish together to make a big impact that goes from the front to the back of the plane. The strong tremor makes a loud boom when it gets to someone's ear. Not only does the plane breach the sound barrier, but it also accelerates beyond the speed of sound. Everyone in the cone-shaped area underneath the plane can hear it. The x 59s shape aims to prevent these shock waves from combining. Instead, they spread out because the plane's surface has unique shapes. The plane's engine is on top, not under it, so the bottom stays smooth and doesn't send shock waves to the ground. NASA thinks that the X-59 will only make 75 decibels of noise when it is going supersonic. This sound might be like thunder far away or someone closing a car door on the corner, which is a sound that is easier on the ears than an explosion. Some people might not even hear the boom, and if they do, it won't be as loud or shocking due to its dispersion. The study plane will ascend at 1.4 times the speed of sound. In older supersonic planes, this would have resulted in a sonic boom. The Quest team will do a lot of test runs at Lockheed. A.O. Martin Skunk works before that. Moving the plane to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in California is the next step. This is where it will stay. Test flights over six different U.S. neighborhoods will begin later in 2024. These will mark the beginning of the crucial phase of the program. We chose these areas because of their unique weather and terrain. Nicole said this part of the project will be fun because it will invite people to participate and get them interested in science. The plan is like a test that the Federal Aviation Administration did in 1964. They repeatedly sent fighter jets over Oklahoma City to observe how people reacted to the loud booms. It didn't go well, just like you thought it would. Some people were upset by the booms. 4% even complained and requested money to rectify the harm caused. Nicole said they don't want to make the same mistake again, so they'll test the X-59 in a small area to see how big the booms are. To answer your question, NASA is mostly making the X-59 Quest as a low-boom supersonic plane for civilian use, not as a substitute for the F-22 Raptor for the military. The NGAD is the only thing that can replace the Raptor. Thanks for seeing. Check out our other videos by clicking the link on the screen. Enjoy your stay here. See you there.